Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to explore on how to integrate Zero with Zapier. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials, right? But if this is your first time here in Zero, you might want to click on the Try for Free, wherein all you're going to do is provide your full legal name, email, US phone number, and your location. And by clicking on these terms and agreements you're all set after that you need to log in to your zapier account if you are new here you might want to click on the uh, start free with your google account if you have that already or if not you can just start with your free using your um another email it could be work or business email and all you're gonna do is sign up click on that orange button right here Again, it's a very easy setup, no coding required, free forever for core features, and you also have a 14-day trial or premium features and apps. All you're going to do is you can continue signing up with their Google, Facebook, or Microsoft. And once you've done that, you are all set. Now, once you're logged in, integrating Zero with Zapier allows you to automate various tasks and workflows by connecting Zero to hundreds of other apps supported by Zapier. And as you can see, you can do more with Zero integrations. Let's you connect Zero with thousands of the most popular apps so you can automate your work and have more time for what matters most, no code required. And obviously, what we need to do from here is to create our new Zap. Now, once you are here, all you're going to do is simply we need to create our Zap. Click on the orange button. As you can see, this is to automate some workflows and that is regarding about zero click on that and you can rename this um untitled zap right here all right and again you have the option to what would you like to automate so when x happens do y then do z all right now for the trigger it's an event that starts your zap okay so you need to choose the uh apps for the trigger and obviously that's going to be zero click on this one and after which now once you've done that you would see there's going to be a event where you can choose is it going to be um, a new bank transaction new bill new contact new expense claim receipt new bill. it's up to you but for now let's try on the uh, new bank transaction and then click on continue all right and from here all you're gonna do is sign in to your zero account for you to be able to move forward and once you've done that you need to click on the uh an action so these are the apps that you can integrate with your zero account it could be uh, from google docs google sheets google drive or a lot more say um if you're using slack salesforce and a lot more so that's gonna be the uh integration and all i'm gonna do after doing so is you can choose an event from here again you can custom actions add contact to campaign add file to record add lead to campaign and once you've done all of that as you can see you can just simply click on continue and remember in this section, you can always choose the apps that you wanted to integrate with your Zero, because Zapier is just the third party that's gonna automate all these for you. Click on continue, and again, you need to sign in to your Salesforce account. And once you've done that, you can sit back and relax because Zapier will do the work for you. Okay. Now, in the event that this is not moving forward or not progressing because there's like a bug glitch or technical issues that you're encountering integrating zero using your zapier you might want to click on the help button here at the very bottom click on that and as you can see the uh, zapier contact support is a 24 7 that would help you anything related to your account all right you can support on your schedule human powered support support if that skills you and as you can see, you have two options, three options, on-demand resources, custom solutions, or of course, we might want to click on 
connect with a human because I've done that in the past and I was having problems connecting my zero account here in Zapier. So I, I what I did was I, I contacted with a real time support and these are the available working hours for them enable for you to contact them. Okay. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.